Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Are you wearing a mask? <laughs> oh. There's a fault line here. So somebody's mask might be slipping here. Okay? Um, you got to decide which side of the fault line you're going to be on in the end. Uh, while it is still cracking before it opens, completely dividing the two. This is something I feel that has to do with the relationship, with love. What do we have? Ha! Huh. The heart. See? I knew it had to do with the love. The heart is here. There may have been some seeds that were planted here. And perhaps they were planted in the wrong garden because there's a storm brewing here. It might bring the water down to do your seeds here so they grow, but there's a destroyer here. Something that is tainted. Can I get a couple more? Whoa, okay. Well, not all those, because that's not going to happen. <laughs> all right, what else do we have for Taurus? Ah, the nectar. I feel like you have someone in mind, Taurus, that you feel is very sweet. Maybe even produce more sweetness. Hmm. The underworld. Okay, um, you be maybe being dragged to the underworld because you have your choices you've made here. What is this for Taurus? Hmm. You may have tried to put somebody in a box here, <laughs> or that's all you can think of. Maybe you're a masculine. <laughs> You might feel like you're in a maze even. Um, when I look at that card, I see a um, type of maze you might need to try to get out of here or you're feeling like you can't find the way out. We have the temple here. Wow, so I feel like you may pray. You may be somebody that is spiritual or you may be somebody that is um, religious. You may have some form of protection with the medallion here. We have a starborn here. So you may be somebody that has star qualities here uh, to be in the public eye. You could even be a star seed. You may even be able to see the unseen and that might be with a Reiki um, or some type of way of seeing things, whether it is clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's other ones as well. You have your ancestors here with the pilgrim. I feel like whoever had roots that came to where you live now or the country you're in now um, put down their roots and I feel like you have their backing like they are all around you helping you find your way here they may even have I kind of feel like <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this but um, I'm kind of feeling like your ancestors might be pulling you to where your heart really lies like what you really want out of life maybe you haven't actually asked yourself what do i really want it in my life what do i what's my deepest desire in life what is that truly makes me happy or something that truly comes to you where you are the happiest by doing these things um Let's see, yeah, there's venom here. So somebody's poisoning your waters here by being around you. Somebody in your circle, I feel. Let's get some tarot, see what comes up for you, Taurus. Ooh, somebody's passionate, has a passionate new idea. 
Ooh, and truth. I want truth here. Whoa. <laughs> so we have two aces. Holy sheep shit. Okay, so we <laughs> have, um, with the ones, that is going to be maybe a birth of a child, a birth of a new project or a business could be a birth of just about anything that's new to you maybe a new job could be in any aspect of your life could do with family impact progress your initiation how you initiate things you also have truth here a breakthrough maybe even a new idea and most of all, mental clarity here. And success, it could also mean that as well. Let's see what else you got. Wow, Taurus. Ace, ace. One, one. Let's see what else you got here. Okay. So this is usually um, my home card. And usually <clears throat> someone coming home from the military or somebody that's maybe been away for a while that's coming home, but it's in reverse, so they're not able to come home at this time. Maybe they live somewhere and they are away for work. Could be in the military and far away from their family or their child. Take it how it resonates. Oh, wow, there is a big tower. Boom. <laughs> baby okay so with these ones wow and the home card something is going to happen something's gonna change here when it comes to that yeah somebody doesn't want to miss they're not gonna miss some type of opportunity here and it's in the heart of the reading but someone's not able to adapt to something here. It might be overcommitted somewhere else. Unable to get the money, maybe? Or to balance something out here. They want to give an offer here, and it's the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. They're very patient. They're driven. Ooh, but there is a death to this. Now, this is an ending of some sort. Maybe, yeah, something didn't work. Yeah, somebody's not able to move forward here. There's an ending here. Could be a transformation or some change or rebirth as well. But with the... Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this is somebody that is frustrated about an ending. This may be somebody that you were talking to online. Um, it could be somebody that you were with in a long-term commitment and they had to go away. Maybe they're unable to come back because of finances or they are working on their finances. They're having troubles though with an opportunity here and this big change, life altering change. They wanna give some type of pentacle here, but somebody has shut them down. Is that you, Taurus? Or did somebody shut you down? So take it out, resonates. Yeah, you're not able to come forward or move back or move towards this person. Let's see, Ace of Wands. And now, if somebody's in the military, they're definitely going to be all about truth and about how passionate they are about their job or... Okay. So we have a Queen of Wands here in reverse. There's a passionate new beginning, but the, the Queen of Wands in reverse, that is somebody that's domineering, has a temper, revengeful, but they're also someone that may step out. So... Um, yeah, there's no love here when it comes to this Queen of Wands. And uh, this may not happen. What What is the truth here? What is the Ace of Swords? Why is that here? Maybe he gets the truth about somebody here. 
Uh, how do we take that? Right like that. Yeah, King of Pentacles wants truth. He's choked. He's losing money. Or he's obsessed about something here. Okay. Yeah. There's a wounded warrior here. He's going to keep going though. And there's a King of Cups in the way here coming in. In the upright. So this might be somebody that is pretty um, put together on their, they're in touch with their emotions. They're there. Um, they can be compassionate and generous. They're balanced, emotionally balanced. So they're not some, somebody that is, uh, emotionally unstable. They are stable. So they're also, um, has wisdom, diplomatic, creative. I kind of feel like somebody is now realizing there's someone else here. They, they may want to come in and fight for something here. There's a there's two people here. There's a King of Pentacles in reverse and a, a King of Cups here, Taurus. What's with the home card in reverse? Can't go home. Can't go home. What's that? Knight of Cups. Yeah, they can't come in and give you that love offer. They're too far away from you. They're worried about somebody coming in to steal you that is emotionally stable or is wanting love. The tower here. Yeah, somebody stuck here. With the Five of Cups in reverse, they're moving forward, though. They've accepted some type of change, okay? But they're still wanting to go. The Eight of Cups in reverse here. They fear this change or have low self-worth here. This person that wants to come in that lives at a distance. What is this tower? They may know somebody's coming in for you. What's this tower? Yeah, they see you as a badass. They see you living your life fully with love and possibilities. Your best life, your best self. What's the tower with the badass? Yeah, victory, recognition. You're you're moving forward and you've got people around you that are supporting what you're doing. You may have a following or maybe you're on social media. Oh my goodness. And you are the Empress. <laughs> now Taurus, you are wanting a victory with this Empress. If you are the masculine, if you are the uh, King of Pentacles or the King of Cups here, you could be a, you could have been upset at first, but still went forward you may even be this king of cups now wanting to come back in and fight for this love with this empress okay so you could be an emperor and showing up as disappointed at first but still wanting to fight for this love with this empress but you live a little further away and unable to come to her and she is looking fantastic Ah, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Taurus, or it is for this Empress. You are not wanting to miss this opportunity. Wow. This is a positive change with the Wheel of Fortune. It is turning in your favor now. You may have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo in your chart. Of course, I'm talking to Taurus, so you're going to have Taurus in your chart. <laughs> What's the wheel here and the opportunity? What is that for Taurus? Now, you could be this Empress, and you're waiting for this to go down. You know this is coming in. Ah, yeah, you have the strength. I feel like you are, you have a lot of strength mentally as well. You may physically be strong, but I still feel like you have a lot of mental um, clarity, courage, 
I feel like you're brave all around. Wow. And you're looking to move or you are looking to have a happy home. You're looking for... Now, if you're this empress, you're totally looking to get married. Or even if you are this masculine, you may be coming in to fight for this because you want to get married to this empress. What is this two of pentacles in reverse? Oh, unable to juggle this love connection here. What's the two of cups here? Ah, oh, they don't want this to end with the death in reverse. Yeah, Scorpio, energy, delays, unwanted change, fear. They do not want you to get away. They're being impatient about this. Even though they may have been slow and steady wins the race at one point. Taurus, this may be the Empress. Just going about her business. Oh, yes, she is. Ten of Pentacles. So she may have the Ten of Pentacles. And give you the offer, uh, Taurus, if you're the masculine. Or if you're the masculine, you want to give this offer to this empress. Somebody's got generational wealth here. They also have some form of regret. Two of swords. Yeah, not sure which direction to go in here. Hmm. Maybe having some anxiety. Worried about a truth. Mm, maybe was a player at one point in their life and that has ended they're not like that anymore when it comes to you what is this knight of wands here why is the knight of wands here this also could be travel i guess maybe this tra this person is coming in they could be a stranger to you you may not even know who this is empress or masculine this knight of wands here this could be some alternative plans a stranger arrives or it's some type of dis distru disruption Jeez. <laughs> all right yeah i feel like it has to do with travel somebody might be traveling to come in Maybe at one point they couldn't. Oh, look at that. Now something has changed with the tower there. Boom, baby. And this is like major, major <laughs> life altering change. So maybe they're able to come forward now. What is this not working here? They may not want to work after this, or maybe they put their time into the military for so many years and want to get out and want to retire could be somebody that is just when they get with you they don't want to work they want to they want to love you ah look at that somebody wants to work and somebody does not what is this eight of pentacles here maybe you don't have to work or you can work if you want to yeah oh look at that the magician and the chariot wow with the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles in reverse so somebody might be frustrated about maybe the work you do maybe you're able to manifest very easily and maybe you've mastered all your elements you have all the tools in the box here to use in your favor you're balanced this is Mercury. This is you thinking about what you truly want and going forward to get it. You're, you're wanting to win at all costs here. Or this person does. Maybe they've manifested you. They want to work with you. They're coming in. Two of Wands in reverse. They are being held back. Oh my goodness. It could have something to do with this other person in their life. Yeah, this Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. May have taken all their money or they've left this person out in the cold now and it is an end of a cycle here. This could be a new person for you that you you don't necessarily know very well or know at all the hermit 
in reverse. So they may feel rejected or maybe you rejected them at one point. This They're worried about rejection here. There's a King of Cups here that's worried about rejection. They don't see something here. That something was too much. Exhaustion. Overcommitted. And they might be losing money here. Uh, maybe when... Yeah, maybe there was a truth revealed and there's some anxiety here. This person may be already married. So be careful if they come in. Don't make it a sexual thing. They're unhappy in this marriage though. But for whatever reason are unable to walk away with the Six of Swords in reverse. They're stuck in the past. They're resisting this change. They're confused about a choice. They're, they're not able to make a choice here. And the Page of Wands in reverse, that's maybe some type of emotional trauma. But they're going to get justice when it comes to this person. This person may have a lover, this Queen of Wands may have stepped out here. And with the Seven of Swords in reverse, they got caught. They may have had to confess. This came to light here. And this person's not going to wait. They're looking for the long term and somebody that might be good with money and finances. Somebody that's satisfying and somebody that is their wish fulfillment. They may be sad and worried that they lost the person that they really truly wanted to be with here. Maybe a temperance angel, a earth angel here. Somebody that's in the flow, progressing, balanced, and somebody that maybe won't give up or maybe gave up ah this could be a tarot reader i've been picking up for a tarot reader coming in here and getting some gifts and blessings and miracles with the nine of wands in reverse though this is some challenges here it could be a challenge they could see this tarot reader as a challenge somebody that is doing well, having good luck, getting miracles upon miracles here. There's an emperor here though that's upset for making a bad judgment call. <laughs> Something wasn't fair and he feels like a fool. Wants the victory here. Maybe he wants to take that leap of faith to get the victory. Maybe willing to tell you about whatever it is or Things are coming to light anyway. They may still be healing here, and but they're watching you. Maybe you have your, if this is a tarot reader, it's possible they have their own channel, um, watching on Facebook or social media of some sort, but they might be standing up for you when it comes to people talking about you or saying things in their circle about you. They might be willing to stand up for you and your honor. They're very passionate about you and maybe just hoping to get you in bed. Three of Pentacles in reverse. They're lacking that team teammate, that team player, somebody that they can build with and maybe build money, build up their money as well. They do have money, so they're not, it's not for financial gain, I feel. Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's a regret here. They want to reconcile. They want to bring in this cup of love here. But you may not want them. There's no hope here. They're worried that there's no hope and that you might walk away. And then they want to keep giving you a cup of love because they love you. You're the Empress. You may have already had some type of deceit here. Or this person has deceived you. And you may have realized this if you were the Empress. You have boundaries in place. You may not accept this offer or they have nothing to offer you. They may hope that you're codependent or 
easily man manipulative that you they can manipulate you easily I feel like you're a free spirit though with the devil in reverse I feel this is Capricorn energy this is ambition independence freedom endings so this person's gonna have strength to end something even if this person says they're pregnant which they're not well if they are it's not your child Taurus hate to tell you that bearer of bad news but I would get a DNA test to find out for sure if you're paying child support for a child that isn't even yours I would definitely get DNA especially if the child doesn't look anything like you let's see eight of swords in reverse yeah somebody's facing fears and karma is ending and they're worried you're not going to be very uh, susceptible to the offer they know they may have to face some type of truth here but they want this happy loving moving in happy family happy wife they may even want to get married uh, but you may put the brakes on that empress or emperor and try to take things a little slower um, not moving forward as quickly maybe or they can't move forward they could be stuck in the past but this is cancer this is emotional this is somebody that could be loyal to you they may not want to fight other people for you they may be very jealous about others other people here with the five of wands in reverse somebody wants to reconcile they may be very confident that they're going to win there's no love here though there's no money and the perception is off this is the masculine or if this is the feminine I don't feel like it's the Empress though the Emperor is here but he's in his karmic self in reverse here or he's very angry but there's no love there's no offer there's hangman in reverse I mean that's somebody that is selfish maybe needs to repeat a, me uh, a lesson whatever they're thinking it might be all in their imagination because there's really no love there no money and somebody is having to repeat a lesson here Knight of Swords in reverse. This somebody is reckless, maybe even aggressive when it comes to you. When it comes to your future, are you going to go or are you going to stay? They may want to celebrate with you. They may want to celebrate your success. They may just want to have friendship with you. An emotional connection of some sort some collaboration teamwork some type of victory there might be greed involved here though because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles somebody that can make some money they've learned to cope here they maybe cheat waste their talent maybe in some type of illusion about equal give and take here but whatever broken heart they had or if this is this empress it's already done with it's already healed and using their intuition now this could be this empress that can see lies through people they she can see the truth anything that's hidden i feel like she's very good at reading energy here it's king of wands in reverse here so we also have somebody else here that maybe is single this king of wands he's not sure which direction because he has um no that belongs here <laughs> this may not know which direction to go People see you as a single, efficient, willing to uh, spend these other three pentacles 
and give with equal give and take and this person's not sure which way to go okay so they're not able to come forward at this time but let's get into some other messages here yeah there's an attachment here and I feel like it's very toxic whoever this attachment is something's gonna change with the number five here change instability and a conflict so there's conflict here when it comes to this masculine yeah, storm warning <laughs> with the number 10 that is an ending a completion end of a cycle a renewal and there's a community that kind of knows about this they're reflecting on the action of this person there might be people in the community that know these this guy is leaving this woman to come to you because they're in such a toxic situation yeah financial constraints when they're with this person there's financial constraints Taurus or maybe you have the financial constraints What is the four of wands here, please? What can you tell me for Taurus? Okay. We have door to value. I feel like they know what your value is. We have four, four here. And four is all about structure, stability, and manifestation. So you may have manifested a door to value, a door to change those constraints yeah you're the magician and the mirror you may do mirror magic you may not know how to do mirror magic but maybe you need to learn mirror magic it's all about um good things i want to keep it like that now number eight is all about mastery action and resolution and i feel like whoever you are whoever i'm speaking to has mastered that manifestation how to manifest let's see here first chakra Archangel Michael so that's your root chakra or your base chakra or your I think it's root chakra and that's number eight that is mastery action and resolution as well so let's see oh my god we have cornucopia oh ah, yeah there's that door to value you've opened it let's see yeah you're being patient you may have to choose between more than one person you have two two ways of going down different roads here and you have to make a decision on which road to take or your masculine does if you are the masculine the emperor in the reverse who's in a karmic cycle with this attachment you're going through that storm everybody knows you want to leave this person um, to go to that door of value maybe something you manifested if you're the masculine or the feminine but there is an indecision and you're being patient for this to come in we have seven and eight so reflection assessment knowledge and spiritual so you may be very spiritual okay and your indecision here is taking that action and you're gonna have to choose yeah you're gonna choose the door to spirit <laughs> I love it that's awesome <laughs> I like this for you, Taurus. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what this love is about. Let's find out what the romance angels. Romance feeling. Romantic feelings. Oh, so somebody does have romantic feelings and a lot of passion. I was picking up on the passion. Huge here. Lots and lots of passion for you. I see you as very sexy. Woo! Oh, maybe even want to marry you. <laughs> this situation involves marriage. Hello. Oh, why'd you go on the floor? <laughs> Shit. Hang on, you guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm mumbling in the background here. Ooh, somebody may have some codependent issues here or some type of addiction that's affecting this romantic life from coming forward. We have, ooh, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Oh, if you're looking at a new person coming in, then clearly think about what you want. And if you're looking for the new, then ask spirit for your new person to come in. The one that wants to marry you. Somebody that isn't codependent though. Somebody that has no addictions, somebody that is balanced and not going to always want to be with you. They're able to be by themselves and be fine with that. <laughs> somebody that um, doesn't need everybody to be with them. Now, religious factors may be an issue, which I kind of picked up on already. Somebody might be religious. Somebody might be spiritual. Forgiving and learning. So you may have to forgive somebody. This might be someone in your past coming in as well. So you're going to have those two doors, right? Those two roads to go down, Taurus. So... Whatever road you go down, you may have to forgive somebody from the past or you're going to somebody in the future. But you're going to look at spirit here for advice and your indecision here, patience, is telling you to release your ex. So whoever is in your past here, you're going to release this ex. So this new person's going to be able to come in for you. The one that wants to marry you, that has romantic feelings for you, and a lot of passion for you. Yes. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Call in your soulmate. Your, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Wow, so if you have a picture of this person you want to be with, get that picture out and start calling this person in. If there's a new person for you, then it's possible you just need to speak what you're looking for, who you're looking for, so this new person comes in that spirit has in mind for you. So, I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I really like this for you. <laughs> All right, you got a decision to make and Spirit says, let that X go. It's time has come to clear your energy. <laughs> All right, let's take care, okay? Give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the tribe and increase your vibe. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Stay blessed. Later.